good morning all of you good morning students so now in this class we are going to discuss a lab activity in our 10th standard the physical science okay we are discussing a subject of physical science so in that one the chapter is a reflection of light at a curved surfaces okay we are discussing a chapter a reflection of a light at a curved surfaces so the next class in that uh, chapter so the lab activity so here we are going to discuss lab activity so the first observe the aim of the activity observing the types of images and measuring the object distance and image distance from the mirror okay what is the aim of the activity observing the types of images and measuring the object distance and image distance from the mirror right and uh, the material required so what type of uh, material required in this activity see here uh, one concave mirror concave mirror known focal length concave mirror known focal length and uh, one candle and the flame of the candle act as a object and the one paper act as a screen and one a meter scale in order to measure the distances of the object distance of the distance of the candle from the mirror and also distance of the uh, image from the mirror means the paper paper so here so distance of the candle that is the object distance from the mirror so candle act as a flame of the candle act as a object and here the paper act as a screen now uh, the distance of the paper from the mirror is a distance of image right and the, now the procedure so the after aim and the material required now let us uh, discuss the procedure the first arrange the concave mirror uh, with the help of uh, v stand here the material required uh, uh, the one more material that is the v stand okay adjust the concave mirror with the help of v stand and the candle and the paper and the meter scale as shown in figure so okay like uh, uh, this way we can uh, adjust the arrange the uh, mat uh, materials right and now let us see the procedure now keep the um, candle in a different places on the meter scale like uh, a 10 cm to 80 cm whatever it may be select the distances 10 cm to 80 cm okay like this way we can take the distances of the uh, candle on the scale right keep the candle at a different places on the scale uh, means the different distances from the mirror like 10 cm to 80 cm so like this and here uh, you have to take a precautions uh, the flame of the candle should be above the uh, <coughs> axis above the axis so these the dotted lines shows the axis of the mirror so which uh, <coughs> drawn uh, directly from the center of the uh, mirror center of the mirror okay so the flame should be above the <coughs> axis and here the screen should be below the axis okay you have to concentrate on this axis and uh, adjust the flame above axis and adjust the uh, paper means the screen below the axis all right here the directly the rays coming from the flame of the candle and directly incident on a concave mirror and the property of mirror we know very well and it reflect the light because of it is a mirror and it is the type concave mirror it reflect the light so uh, we will get the image in front of a mirror and uh, on the screen so that's why we need to uh, place uh, paper means a screen between this uh, object and the mirror so like this way we can uh, place so this is the arrangement and the first adjust the candle flame 10 cm to 80 cm and observe the position of the uh, find out the position of the image okay adjust the paper for every distances for every distances of the uh, object means the candle you have to adjust the paper 
paper and find out the position of the image where you get the sharp image on the screen. Okay, find out the position of the image where you get the sharp image on the paper. Right? And now, okay, sometimes we'll get the images on the paper. So the different types of after completion of the activity. So uh, we conclude that uh, means here uh, sometimes we'll get the images on the screen means the paper. Okay, sometimes we the image appears the mirror only, mirror only. Sometimes there is no image on the screen means in the paper on the mirror, right? So three types of images maybe we can observe. Sometimes of uh, sometimes the image appeared on the screen. Sometimes the image appeared on the uh, mirror only means behind the mirror. So sometimes we will not get any image on paper and mirror also. So these type of situations we can observe by uh, placing the candle flame means candle at different types of different uh, uh, positions on the scale different positions on the scale and also uh, we need to maintain one table we need to maintain one table that is the distance of the candle from the mirror that is the object distance that is the first column and distance of the uh, paper from the mirror that is the image distance and uh, next uh, suppose the object may uh, image may be uh, sometimes enlarger than the object sometimes uh, diminished than the object sometimes the image uh, uh, erected sometimes that is uh, in, uh, inverted so these are the all these things we need to maintain we need to note in a table right we need to note okay now let us see the table so this is the arrangement and the process suppose we are uh, we are arranging the candle at uh, 10 cm 20 cm 20, 20 and whatever it may be and uh, you have to uh, find out the image for that particular uh, object distance so you have to give the value for in image distance so like that up to 10 to 8 centimeter 8 centimeter and here so we are taking uh, one concave mirror and this is the known focal length so we know the focal length by knowing the focal length of concave mirror we can adjust the the positions if suppose the focal length of the concave mirror is 20 centimeter how to know the focal length in rough method just hold the concave mirror in such a way that the light is directly falls falling falls on that the sunlight or whatever it may be the falling on that and keep the paper in front of a concave mirror in a such a way that the reflected rays are directly incident on the paper they meet at one point uh, if suppose we are getting a bright uh, uh, brightest spot that is the uh, focus point focus point and the measure the distance from the mirror to that point so that gives the focal length of uh, given concave mirror so this is the rough method uh, to find out the focal length of the given concave mirror suppose the 20 centimeter because uh, the, the brightest spot uh, distance between the brightest spot and the concave mirror 20 centimeter that is the focal length for so given concave mirror so by using this 20 centimeter we can place the we can uh, adjust the different places if 20 centimeter suppose we are placing a 20 centimeter that is the that is object at focus now uh, be, uh, below the 20 that is the object between pole and focus so that is uh, we'll discuss after uh, lab activity we'll discuss uh, based on this reading based on the focal length we'll discuss the different position after completion of lab activity and uh, so we need to draw the table in order to maintain the observations right take the observations like this way so we need to maintain one table while uh, okay in this lab activity so now table num first of all uh, here a distance of the Okay, distance of the candle, candle from the mirror, from the mirror. So this is the one, and distance of the paper. Okay, distance of the distance of the candle from the mirror. So this is object distance. This is known as object distance. 
next distance of the distance of the paper from the mirror this is image distance okay sometimes so object uh, image will be uh, <coughs> okay inverted reversed inverted on the screen or uh, suppose erected straight so, sometimes the image uh, may be straight and sometimes that is reverse if so, suppose reverse that is called inverted and if that is straight that is called erected and uh, sometimes the image enlarged enlarged and sometimes that is diminished Okay, this is the table. So we need to maintain uh, uh, at the time of lab activity, observation of the uh, this activity. Suppose we are conducting the activity, we need to maintain the table. The first one, distance of the uh, candle from the mirror. So object distance. Suppose we are taking 10 centimeter or whatever it may be. So like this way. And the distance of the paper from the mirror. Okay, what uh, okay? What is the position? What is the position of the paper? Okay. Uh, find out the position for this particular distance uh, where you get the sharp image on the screen that gives here the image distance and uh, the characteristics of image uh, on the paper suppose uh, if it is uh, reverse that is called inverted if it is uh, straight that is called erect now uh, that is uh, larger than the object that is enlarged if suppose that is shorter than the object that is diminished so we need to maintain this character, uh, characteristics of the image and the object distance and image distance during the uh, lab activity. Like this way we can maintain. If suppose we are main, uh, we knowing the focal length 20 centimeter. If suppose we are taking the position 10 centimeter that is the below focal length, below focus. Now 20 centimeter at focus. Now 30 centimeters uh, between focus and the center of curvature. If uh, focus is 20. Uh, center of curvature is 40 because of the radius of curvature is twice of the focal length. So like this way we can maintain the table. So uh, so we need to maintain the distances here object distance and image distance and object distance is known as u and image distance is known as a v. So like this way we can maintain uh, the table. This is table number 1 and uh, next class. So we will discuss uh, though it's suppose maintaining the reading like this way so where we'll get the image and what are the characteristics of the image what is the position of the object and what is the image position and what are the characteristics okay we'll discuss in our next class okay Amo? thank you